I am just a fetish when a white boy tried to play with my trauma to have sex with me. He told me I was beautiful for my brown skin, yet he never wanted to give me pleasure. Like capitalism, he could modify my brown body for an orgasm just to leave me on the white crack sidewalk as if I am worthy of my own violence. I am just a fetish. When straight, cisgender, white, and women of color only care about my lipstick, how I look on stage, but not how I'm going to get home tonight, as if I am worthy of my own violence. I tell them, people say that I'm ugly, disgusting, a faggot. They just tell me that I'm beautiful and move on to the next thing, as if I am worthy of my own violence. I am just a fetish when people compare my womanhood to Caitlyn Jenner, even though, like countless other white women who told my mother to only speak English. I am just a fetish when I am up on stage, heart on stage, tears coming down my eyes, long, brown, wavy wig, long, black dress with all my black body hair underneath right now the spotlight to show that I am a woman. The audience applauds, but I cannot hear them. Because when these feet leave the stage, like other trans women of color who walk off the stage only to be told that I am disgusting. When can I stop performing and just be? When is my rage validated? Self-actualization is hard when confronting your trauma and countless people implying that you are not human, whether well attended or not. So, to all the straight guys out there who like me, congratulations, you're not straight. There's a possibility that you like a woman without a vagina. Go star too. But there's a catch. Anyway, I was talking to this guy, 25, brown, perfectly trimmed beard, eyebrows, worked for a tech firm, lives in Bushwick. Sounds like gentrification, right? <laughs> but I like the hipster type with their thick frame glasses, their fair trade coffee just turns me on. <laughs> we were talking, and he was telling me about how rim jobs and body embracing turns him on, and how he wanted me to send him pictures of me more dressed up because the more feminine I look, the more he wanted my midnight blue kisses all over his body. I said, well, we could avoid the kissing part, not just right. I am not a fetish all over your forehead. Honey, this makeup, these clothes, is just a facade. When I take them off, and you see this hairy brown disconnected body that no one wants to protect because I am worthy of my own violence, when I am told that my lifespan does not go beyond 30, when JoJo Stryker and Tanika Dodd and countless other trans women of color are only limited to five body slashes to the back and the shung out to the head, I stand in solidarity with you. As our two brown bodies post 9-11 world, the thoughts they could all deem us unlovable, and you add religious, trans, queer, undocumented, marginalized layers to that, you are either seen as a predator or non-existent. So, for the dating sites, bachelor, bachelorette, cinema, 
Don't capitalize loneliness as finding love. The more that we can say that we are lonely, the less that we can feel that.